smash it and grab it. That's wealth, as in having lots of money. Ronji Holland, again! Hello, this is Ronji Holland bringing you um, a regular now video blog because of popular demand. People keep saying to me, come on Ron, why can't we share something every week so we can have a few tips and a few ideas and a bit of uh, momentum. So I've come up with this idea. My newsletter's going to be called Smash It and Grab It. Now how did that come up? Oh, excuse me, just one moment. I'm just going to take this call. Hello, Ron Holland. not for me wrong number never mind um, smash it and grab it so many people come into my office here and they tell me Ron we're gonna smash it and uh, a few weeks or months later I meet them again have you smashed it no I haven't quite smashed it yet um, and then I've got my mind around it. very few people really do smash it and and I'm one of those guys who has smashed it and I've helped lots of other people smash it as well and I want to help you smash it so let's just go over one of the little things now for, let's get right to the nitty gritty I had a guy come in literally a couple of days ago taking me through his marketing campaign and he says look what I'm going to do is send out 50,000 emails of um, this sector 50,000 of another sector 50,000 of another sector and he, he thought that was absolutely fantastic and he thought he was going to smash it. And I said to him, look, I said, tell me what your backstop position is. Let's take the worst case scenario and say you get zero response, zero return on those five, four, three email shots. What is your next uh, marketing methodology? And he didn't have one, you see, because the truth is, uh, if you're going to smash it, you need to be thinking of a backstop position. If, if your email marketing campaign doesn't work, are you going to do some mail order? Are you going to advertise in the press? If those two things fail, you need another backstop position. And if you're going to smash it, you need to keep thinking more and more and more until you get a foot in the door and you find something that's actually working. This is the key to smashing it because because so many people I know, they start off and they get disappointed very, very quickly and then they give up. And that's not how you smash it. If you're going to smash it, whatever it is you're trying to smash, you keep going and going and going with lots of different cost-effective marketing techniques until you do smash it. And when you've smashed it, then you grab it. So every week we're going to be talking about little ideas and little hunches and little things that are going to help you along. Some edgy stuff getting to the nitty gritty of it every time. And I'm just going to give you one more tip today, and that's to do with um, opening bank accounts, getting bank finance, getting overdrafts. And again, lots of my clients are struggling. People are saying to me, phoning up big clients and small clients. We're not getting the money from the bank. We're not getting the loans. We're not getting the overdrafts. And if that's the case, you've got to start digging deep and looking around, maybe for private equity, venture capital, maybe from the bank of Ma and Pa, maybe dig deep, get the, the equity out of your home. You've got to this tough economic climate you've got to do whatever it takes you've got to smash it and sometimes you've really got to get out there and do this for yourself on your own nobody's going to help you it is tough but i've got other clients who are really doing well in this economic climate and they really are smashing it and they're not reliant on banks they're not reliant on other people they're making it happen and my suggestion to you is bite the bullet if you get turned down for a bank loan find another way do it anyway make something happen get the money from somewhere else dig deep that's what entrepreneurs do so that's what that's what i've got for you today see you next week on smash it and grab it with ron g holland look forward to seeing you soon bye